seen a previous uh, tutorial where I looked at making snow on the roof. I took the liberty of adding a little bit more down to this, this low roof to uh, move things along a little bit. What we're going to do on this occasion is we're going to look at adding a, a, an ecosystem of icicles to various components within our scene. So again, I'm going to press Control and I'm going to click on the component I want to edit first. Let's look at this sweeping fascia board on the front of the building. So we're going to edit the material and we're going to make it an ecosystem. OK, so we're going to add an object. I have prepared an icicle earlier, so let's go ahead and add that icicle. Now, as you're all aware, as uh, as we're used to doing in terms of ecosystems of, of plants, etc., we tend to make them sit on the top of an object. OK, so you can see here that the uh, icicle will naturally populate along that top edge. Now that's fine, however we want the icicle to hang below that top edge. So I'm going to look at the density and I'm going to again look at the proportional to the size of instance offset from surface section and we're going to make this 100% below the surface. So I press populate now and you'll see that the icicles are hanging down. There is an obvious problem Icicles tend to hang vertically unless being acted upon by wind, but with this particular icicle object I made, it's just a, a vertical uh, icicle with water drops dripping from the end. So I'm going to look at our orientation and I want it to be completely vertical and I'm going to populate. So now we have lots of icicles hanging down from that top surface. So that means the, the item is now instead of sitting on top of that um, top edge of the fascia, it's now hanging down from that surface. So if we do a quick preview render and see what we've ended up with, now you can see we've got a whole bunch of icicles all hanging down from this top, top surface. Obviously, um, as water, meltwater, would run down uh, this object, the icicles would tend to gather at this lower extremity. Um, there's not going to be an awful lot of water running down from here. So as it accumulates, it's going to start to freeze and start to drip down. So we want to control the icicles' presence. And again, as we did with the snow, let's try about halfway down. And we'll see what we get. OK, so you can see now here that our icicles are only appearing at about 50% of the way down, which seems to be a sensible distribution. Let's do another quick preview render. Much better. Now, it's up to you, obviously, the material that we use in this ecosystem. At the moment, I, if I remember correctly, it's about 50% transparent. So let's go ahead. Whilst the ecosystem is populated, we can edit the material of the icicle within that population by looking in here. And we'll scan down because at the bottom the ecosystems exist. So the material down here for the icicle is standard glass. Let's look at the transparency. You can, of course, opt to make it more transparent. That will extend your render time. But again, render time to me is irrelevant so long as I'm obtaining the effect I want to uh, obtain. So I'm going to click OK. And let's see what difference that's made to our scene. That's a little bit better. They're not quite so apparent uh, and in your face. Obviously, I, uh, icicles will appear wherever meltwater appears. So it would even occur on the uh, deer head above the door. So we can go ahead, we can edit that material, we can make that a ecosystem, and again, we can add the icicle. Now, because we have edited the material in the icicle 
uh, ecosystem before adding this object, that material carry through onto the next ecosystem. If you want different materials uh, for different parts of the building, you would need to save out several different icicle versions to obtain that. But being as I'm being lazy at this moment in time, I'm just happy for the material to carry through. So I'm going to, again, proportional to the size of instance, and I'm going to go 100%. I know that I need it to hang vertically. And we can go ahead and populate and see what we get. Now you can see we've got 368, far too many for this particular item. There wouldn't be that many icicles. So again, we will look at thinning it out. Let's go right down. 76, still far too many. 35, that sounds better. But look at the length of them. That would certainly hurt your head as you walk through those first thing in the morning. So let's look at reducing the size of our icicles much better but because we reduce the size of them we've ended up with a lot more icicles so again we're going to have to go right down to one percent 69 sounds like a good number for icicles and let's render it okay so now we've got a nice little ecosystem of icicles and just once more for the sake of uh, repetition I'm going to click OK. I'm quite happy with that. But I want this fascia board here. Here. OK. Again, if you saw the previous tutorial about creating the snow on the roof, we talked about how the snow melts, slumps down the roof, and would fall, but would also form icicles on this fascia board. So I want to add an ecosystem of icicles to that fascia board. So we'll go through it again. We'll add the icicle item. We'll look at the density. We want it below surface. We want it vertical. We also have a suspicion that we may need to uh, reduce the size of those icicles. So you can see we have a solid mass of icicles. That's no good. Let's reduce the density. 883. 467. Let's go down to 1%. 248. But they're looking a little bit uniform, so I think I would like to make some a little bit larger. And let's populate. 222 now. So let's do a quick preview render, see what we've got. We should have a nice little ecosystem of icicles. Again, depending on you as an individual at this moment in time, I'm seeing that they're too small. So we'll ease up the size especially you know if you look at the size relative to this front fascia board let's do a preview render much better much more apparent um, that's looking quite nice obviously you can go through this to whatever extent you want because even down here on this low roof there would be a, a ecosystem uh, of icicles hanging there because the snow is melting in this particular image I hope you found that useful. Um, please check us out on social media and YouTube. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.